Did you know that only 3 or 4% of Dubai's total revenue comes from oil production? How does it hold the status of the world's richest city? You might be wondering who the primary architect behind this remarkable transformation is. Welcome to Fractus TV. In this video, we will discuss how Dubai transformed from a desert into a wonder, who the main creator was, and how he turned it into the world's wealthiest metropolis. We've all seen pictures of the world's tallest building. Burj Khalifa, Dubai's skyscrapers, Palm Islands, multi-billion dollar projects, shopping malls, and more. Have you ever wondered who created all of this? Dubai is a dynamic city that grows and develops year-round. Allow us to introduce the chief orchestrator behind these developments, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, a visionary leader of our time with remarkable talent and strong character, who played a pivotal role in creating Dubai. Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum was born on July 15, 1949. In Al Shindaga, Dubai, United Arab Emirates. Muhammad was the third son of Sheikh Rashid Ibn Seed Al Maktoum, who ruled Dubai and led the Maktoum dynasty from 1958 to 1990. From a young age, Muhammad displayed the skills of a politician and diplomat. He frequently accompanied his grandfather to closed meetings attended by high-ranking politicians. The curious Al Maktoum was watching and studying how the negotiations should be conducted. He listened and learned from wise advice. After completing his secondary education in Dubai, Muhammad studied English in Cambridge, England, and underwent military training at a cadet school in Aldershot. He consistently ranked among the top students in both school and various institutions. While in England, he had the opportunity to meet representatives from various countries and forge friendly relations with them. Following his time in England, he went to Italy to learn a pilot's profession. From his youth, he wanted to be the best in everything. Upon returning to his homeland, he became the head of the country's police force within three years and eventually rose to the position of Defense Minister of the United Arab Emirates. Sheikh Rashid's dream was to transform this barren land into a bustling metropolis a city that would shine like a beacon in the Middle East. But he knew this would not be an easy task. In a desert where nothing but sand and camels stretched as far as the eye could see, nobody, not even his own family, believed in the possibility of building a world-class metropolis. Nevertheless, he was undeterred. During the 1970s, the Al Maktoum family saw a staggering influx of oil wealth. Muhammad thought that sooner or later the resources would run out, so it was necessary to build the economy on sustainable resources. Initially, he established factories for concrete, iron, and glass production. Dubai's construction journey started in the 1970s. In 1979, the first shopping center was opened here. New apartments, hotels, shopping centers were being built. However, in the early 1980s, Dubai remained a typical Arab town with only a few tall buildings, lacking any distinctive features. In 1985, the Sheik took another smart step and founded the airline company named Fly Emirates, which became one of the largest airlines within a few years. The establishment and growth airline has had a significant and positive impact on the economy of Dubai. Fly Emirates has transformed Dubai into a major international aviation hub. The airline's extensive route network and high-quality service have attracted travelers from around the world. Dubai International Airport The airline's primary hub has become one of the busiest airports globally facilitating the flow of tourists, business travelers, and cargo. This has boosted tourism-related industries, including hotels, restaurants, and retail. The airline's growth has been a catalyst for the creation of Dubai, 
World Central and Dubai South, which includes the development of the Expo 2020 site, a major global event aimed at further boosting Dubai's economy. Emirates' global presence and its premium services have played a role in promoting Dubai as a destination for business and investment. It has attracted multinational corporations to establish regional headquarters in Dubai, leading to economic diversification. Overall, the establishment and growth of Emirates Airline, it has showcased the importance of strategic investment in aviation and infrastructure as part of a broader economic development strategy. In the early 1990s, Dubai had already developed top-notch infrastructure, boasting one of the best airports with connections to nearly all directions. It was also a relatively safe city. But the main problem was that people did not come to the city, comes but not as much as the sheik wanted. However, some individuals told him that this was the city's maximum potential, and it wouldn't attract more people than this. However, the Sheikh knew that the city had not reached its maximum potential. That is why, in 1995, he organized a shopping festival and founded the Dubai Free Trade Area. It was a real boom. People from all over the world traveled to shopping, where all the luxury brands could be found in one space. The Sheikh soon realized that this audience was interested in anything that started with most. This marked the beginning of the construction of Dubai's wonders. For example, the tallest building in the world, Burj Khalifa, which can accommodate 30,000 people, and the most expensive hotel in the world, Burj Al Arab, where a week's stay costs $150,000, the largest indoor mountain resort in the world, the world's most amazing artificial island, and so on. Engineers and architects from around the world were brought in to design and construct innovative buildings and infrastructure that could withstand the harsh climate. They created towering skyscrapers that seemed to touch the sky, each one a testament to human ingenuity. Water was a precious commodity in the desert, and Sheikh Rashid knew that without a sustainable source, his dream would wither away. So, he commissioned the construction of the Dubai Water Canal, a marvel of engineering that brought seawater inland, providing a source of fresh water for the city. As the city began to take shape, people from all corners of the globe flocked to Dubai. They brought with them their ideas, cultures, and expertise, creating a vibrant and diverse community. Dubai became a melting pot of cultures, where the East met the West, and traditions blended with innovation. Sheikh Rashid's dream had become a reality. Dubai was no longer a desert outpost. It was a global city, a symbol of progress and ambition. Its skyline glittered with lights, and its streets buzzed with activity. It was a city that never slept, where dreams were born and fortunes made. Today, Dubai stands as a testament to the power of vision, determination, and innovation. It is a city that rose from the sands of the desert, which was built on the dreams of a visionary leader and the hard work of countless individuals. Thank you for watching. This was the channel Fractus TV. Please like video and subscribe the channel.